Yo, what is up? It is Pacifers One. Welcome back to the channel. So if you watched the last video, there's a little bit of an Easter egg of the next mod for the Z. So I am a huge fan of roof box slash bike attachments, any sort of roof rack systems, baskets. Every vehicle I've owned has had one at some point in time. This Z has had a basket, a bike rack, and it's had a box already. It had a GoPro Plus box on it. I've owned a Thule box, I've owned a Yakima box, I've literally had everything. But this box, this box is a little bit special. Y'all seen this? So this is a Dr. Deng roof box. It is a Chinese brand and from what I understand, they are discontinued. I snagged this thing brand new for $350 and these things retail for $1,500. I just had to have it. Well, this is a dual Gullwing style opening box. It has automatic key fob opening and also has keys to open it manually. Crazy amounts of space inside. I'm gonna use it for like spare parts and my tool bag and things like that. Also for detailing, uh, cause I already have the roll cage, the subs. And if I put the T-tops in the back, there's just no room for anything. Uh, with the box on, the T-tops are gonna have to be like permanently on. Uh, you'll see when we get to it. The previous box setup I ran used some universal crossbars, but this time around, this box is a little bit too big. I didn't want it sitting all clunky on the roof. So we went with the Z Racket Sea Sucker mounting system this time around. So we gotta get these things mounted up. They just shipped in the mail. Let's get to it. So like I said, I did not want to do my universal rack bar system. It just would sit too clunky. So I went with the Z Racket Sea Sucker setup. All right, so we got the four sea sucker mounts and then we got the brackets. So this will rotate straight down and this will hold up the box. Probably I'm gonna do somewhere like back here. And so it'll have a nice flush sitting point with the front visor. So this box is a little bit different in the sense that it does not have a slot. Uh, the mounting brackets for this one are literally pilot holes. Uh, then you come up through the top with a washer and a lock nut, and it, that's how it holds on to the, the bars that you have. Uh, this Z racket system, you would take this apart and put the slot in on the top side and then meet it with the rest of the bracket. So the options I have are going in and slotting this with like a Dremel or I can go the route of putting these on top with a washer and then meeting this bracket on the back side. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go that route. Um, you know, I don't really drive this thing really fast. It comes off a trailer and then goes right into car shows. So I'm gonna use this as a starter hole find the distance for the next hole, put a washer and then the Allen screw on top and then meet it with the bracket on the bottom side and then go from there getting my adjustments and getting it pushed back to where I want it. All right, see, so yeah, I was taking a look at the front brackets and since the front literally only has one and then a washer, uh, yeah, I don't have to drill any holes because I can literally just chew the hole. Uh, so that'll be totally fine. So I just have to add another hole for the back brackets. Uh, so we'll just hit it with a little bit of a, a marker dot and uh, drill away. All 
right, so these are for the rear bracket setup. So we'll get these lined up on the holes, get them in there. Pushing this is what releases the air and creates the suction. And then from there we can adjust the angle of the box with these. Uh, probably gonna go all the way because I want this box to kind of tilt uh, down and forward with the car. All right, we've got the adjustments, the height, the angle where we want it. We got the holes drilled, spacers ready. Now we just gotta get this thing lined up. All right, we got the rear brackets on. Uh, to get the suction, you literally just push those in until you can't anymore. And the suction on these is insane. So now we gotta get the front ones on, which is literally just a spacer and one screw. Actually decided to move the front bracket forward from this hole to this hole so that the suction cup sat more flush with the window and wasn't under too much stress but yes sir Woo. yeah that's a little that's a little fye right there good lord Still gotta unwrap it. It's a little ugly outside, so I think I'm gonna wait till a nice sunny day to pull it out and rip all of the, to rip all the shipping uh, tape off and all that. A few moments later. All right, so the Z racket setup is on the Z. We got the box mounted up. Uh, just from first glance, looks like one of the C sucker mounts loses suction kind of quick, like within 20 minutes. Uh, maybe it just needs some like repositioning and hopefully it's good. So we are fast forwarding to after slammed enough Ohio Columbus. I took the Z down on a trailer. We had the box mounted on the Z with the C sucker system. 
we were going about you know anywhere from 60 to 70 miles per hour on the highway the box stayed perfectly fine on the z the cups never lost suction at all throughout the entire time we were down there. I met up with Team Elevate and we went cruising to the pre-me and whatnot, hit speeds of about 70 miles per hour. The box held on just fine. I'm not gonna lie though, throughout the entire trip, I was a little sketched out that the box was just gonna go Bye, have a great time. But as you can see right now, the box is not on the Z. Right when we got back from Columbus, we had to load up Yield Tucson through the box on the Tucson, look at that. This thing looks so good. Just needs some 24s. Soon, soon. But eventually I will be doing a Tucson review because uh, this is an N-Line Tucson and it's, it's a pretty cool daily. I uh, don't know how much longer I'm gonna have it, but I gotta get a review in on it eventually. As you can see with the Tucson, the box is just mounted normally on the roof bars with the brackets that it came with. So didn't have to worry about the suction cups or anything like that. Simon Up Ohio was a huge success. It was a lot of fun. The Z took home best early model Nissan Datsun second place. I was listening to the awards, but I really wasn't listening to them, you know, say off the categories. And then I heard my name and I was like, what did I just get called for? <laughs> I had no idea what I won, so I walked up there grabbed the plaque and that was the first time I actually saw what I won. And I lost to the homie Taylor who has a super clean skyline, amazing paint job, uh, well-deserved W. Either way, uh, the Z Racket system, it's over there chilling. Uh, it'll probably end up on every single vehicle that I own in the future. It's just way too cool. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Z Racket setup as well as this amazing box with the dual gold wing automatic side opening. If you're a fan of like roof rack systems and stuff like that, let me know if you've got a bike, a box, a basket, what you run on your vehicle. Be sure to like and subscribe and also come by the Twitch streams. I do all kinds of videos and my followers are more than welcome to join in on my games and hit those post notifications so you know right when the next video drops on YouTube. Till next time, peace.